Hello everyone, today I'm going to be giving you guys an in-depth walkthrough slash tutorial of how to become a successful supermodel with the new model job pack in BitLife. I know a lot of people are confused on what to do with the poise, attitude, and quirkiness stuff, how to answer the questions, and I want to show you actually how simple it is to become a supermodel. You can literally do it by the age of 30, I will show you. You'll get 100% fame, but if you haven't yet, make sure you guys go check out my Patreon. There's a bunch of exclusive content that I'm not posting to YouTube. I post there multiple times a week. Videos, pictures, live streams, there's Zoom calls. It's a really fun place over there, so go join if you haven't yet. And with that being said, let's get into it. I'm honestly loving this no face cam stuff because I'm able to film videos so quick. Like, I don't have to worry about making myself look nice. I can literally just hop on my computer and film, and it's actually really, really nice, and I'm starting to like it. <laughs> oh no. But basically, this is the life I showed you guys in my glitch video where I was like, oh, there's like a bug going on because as you can see, I'm a famous supermodel with 100% everything, looks, reputation, booking agent, everything, everything and there's no elite gigs. Attention, that is now false. I have actually figured out how to. So I will insert right now a separate clip of me showing you how to unlock elite gigs. I also posted a dedicated video before this video of how to unlock it. So throughout this video, you might see that elite gigs are grayed out, but that's because I filmed it last night and I figured out elite gigs this morning. And also I'm still covering my wounds because they do not look nice. And if you wanna see it, go check my Patreon. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly hop in here and tell you guys that after I recorded this video, I actually figured out the way to unlock elite gigs and I explained it in my video I uploaded previously. Long story short, how to unlock elite gigs is all you have to do is do five local gigs. Now, it won't show up until you actually become at least an elite model, but in the beginning of your career, you can do five gigs, become an elite model, and then do five local gigs, become a supermodel, and then do five local gigs. It doesn't matter. As long as you have completed five local gigs, they will unlock once you're an elite model. That was the one thing I didn't do because I thought that local gigs wouldn't matter if you're doing a modeling agency. I just thought they'd be open. And I feel like a lot of us struggled with that as well, but that is basically how you do it. So if during the video, you see that elite gigs was grayed out, it's, it's because last night when I was filming it, I still hadn't figured it out. So this is the end of future me talking and enjoy the rest of the video. So as you can see, we're surrendering and we're restarting. So we are going to continue and try again as Maria. Obviously the first thing you wanna do is be born with modeling as your special talent. And it's important to also be born in a country that is very, very high fashion and very known for modeling. France is a great one because those countries have the better modeling agencies and that's where you can get the really good gigs. Now, nothing you do in your youth really matters. The only thing you should know is that at the age of 13, that is when you can take modeling lessons. And I think a lot of people are forgetting that you need to take modeling lessons. It's not just being good looking and then at 18 going to apply to agencies. You can unlock modeling lessons at the age of 13. I tried this in my initial first impressions video of the update. So modeling lessons is here. Now, of course, you ask your parents and they agree. If they don't agree and you do have God mode, you can travel back in time a year, get to age 13, and then change your parents' attributes so that their generosity is like high and then they'll be more willing to do it for you. So once you start your modeling lessons, you just have to do it three times a year, every single year until you are 18, okay? You hear me? Every single year. And that is all you have to do up until the age of 18. And remember, you guys can always have this video playing on your laptop while you play on your phone and kind of follow along Along with me if it helps. Just pause my video, try it yourself, do whatever works for you. So I'm in secondary school. There's no clubs or activities or anything that can help. With acting, there is like drama club. With singing, there's glee club. But unfortunately for modeling, there's no club you can do to help you. So it's like, if you aren't born with a special talent, I haven't actually tried that yet, but I feel like it would be difficult getting your modeling skill up. But that's for another video. As we know, I'm gonna film 30,000 videos. <laughs> so I officially did my last round of modeling lessons because when you turn 18, you gotta start paying for them yourself. The next step is very crucial because as you know, you need money to get your headshots. And in the beginning, you need only $500. So we're going to age to the age of 18, take time off school. And now we have our driver's test. So in this moment to make it the easiest possible, take your driver's test and pray that your parents gift you a car because that money is going to come very much in handy. So we're gonna take the test. This is slippery when wet. We passed, our parents got us a car. Great. Now, if your parents didn't get you a 
card, just do a couple freelance gigs to get 500 bucks. Or if you wanna just have a safe option, just do a part-time job growing up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is sell this car so now I have money and I can use this $18,000 or euros, sorry, to finish up the last bit of modeling lessons to get me a full bar. And I wasn't able to, but this is good enough. This should do it. Now, throughout your years, you also wanna make sure you don't get in too many school fights, nothing that can really affect your looks. Right now we're at 94% look, so I am gonna go to the gym. And there we go. Our looks are officially at 100, our happiness is at 100, and our health is at 100. Now also to ensure longevity in my life, we're gonna go on the Mediterranean diet, please and thank you. This all starts right at the age of 18. The first thing you want to do when trying to be a supermodel, you wanna click on modeling and take your headshot. We're gonna go full color because that is obviously the most appealing. Like just think if you were a scouting agent out of entire wall, you probably see beautiful colorful photos of all kinds of people, all kinds of backgrounds. And then you see one just in black and white. <laughs> and you're like, girl, what are you doing here? Now, maybe, maybe that would be good because maybe that would be like, hmm, she's not like other girls. But for most of the time, you want to do full color. Maybe I'll try my best being the most untraditional model in a video. That's kind of the goal. Do something that's not too over the top, like a rock formation is kind of over the top for a background. Same with a suburban neighborhood. In my opinion, with all these options the best option is white wall so we're gonna go with the white wall pick your outfit again you want it to be classy a lot of the time modeling headshots you just have to wear a black tank top and leggings so they can see your figure so we are going to go with a pantsuit and an expression you really want a good expression like the smize is really good because it shows confidence right now we have dismissive shy creepy stare sad smile hopeful i kind of don't like any of those so i'm just gonna refresh you don't actually have to spend the money yet i think yeah you don't have to spend the money yet until you actually like press okay background brick wall is a good idea too but i don't like any of those options so you can literally refresh this you don't have to pick stuff you don't like wood paneling is good we could go with a sundress and flirty oh my gosh flirty is such a good one for your expression so here is our headshot now right away you can start doing local gigs without a modeling agency so it's kind of like acting how you can start with like small tv shows and movies and work your way up or right away try and get in a big modeling agency now personally how I like to approach this is I do like to do some local gigs maybe one or two to have something on my portfolio so they don't think I'm a total noob especially if you want to get into the bigger model agencies because obviously it's easier if you start a life where you're already famous but we are starting from the bottom nothing helping us so I like to do a local gig so right away I want to show you guys here's the definition of attitude there are multiple definitions so the most common one right is a settled way of thinking or feeling about someone or something typically one that is reflected in a person's behavior. Now that's not really important to modeling. We're looking for more of a definition that is in relation to modeling. So for example, this is kind of an informal definition of attitude. It could mean individuality and self-confidence as manifested by behavior or appearance or style. For example, she snapped her fingers with attitude. So think of it as like confidence. I don't give a about anyone, I'm gonna rock it myself. Now we have the word poise. Again, we're looking for the definition that more so relates to modeling. So for example, poise, an archaic definition is equilibrium, okay, balance. However, we're looking for the definition relatable to modeling and that just so happens to be the most common one. So poise means graceful and elegant bearing in a person. So it's how they compose themselves, gracefulness, control, presence, all that stuff. So that's what the word poise means. So being a quirky person, okay? Unconventional, has a strange mix of traits that can be interesting or charming. Quirkiness just means like you're kind of just doing things out of the box. You can be really funny. You can let go, not take yourself too seriously. So that's kind of the impression that BitLife is going for with quirkiness in the modeling. So now that you know those three attributes and what they actually mean, it makes the game a lot easier. So here they're telling me to feel free to be as weird as you want as you pose okay so we're again we're increasing quirkiness we're decreasing attitude and decreasing poise they're offering me a job based on your performance in the audition what will you do girl i will take the job <laughs> and another thing okay so this is another example of a pop-up that some people get confused okay and this is similar to acting always happily agree to do it well this doesn't say happily agree but when they do like the poses and stuff agree to do it because it makes the director zappy and maybe it's kind of messed up sometimes the pop-ups but we you gotta do what you gotta do well on set of your shoot for alexander mcqueen the creative director asks you to rub coconut oil on your ears see what i mean sometimes we're 
super weird and maybe like in your real life you wouldn't do it but in BitLife just do it <laughs> so again agree to do it and there you go so the marketing team said sales are on the rise thanks to your ad campaign so when you really break it down like this I know I totally understand how overwhelming these updates can be at first when you kind of don't know what's going on and every time I do an update video you guys hear me say like oh I'm overwhelmed <laughs> there's just so much to click and oh it's just so many things to try and learn and then so many things go wrong and then it demotivates you but guys that's why I'm here okay I dedicate my time to this I got you so that one went well and there we go we have a recruiter already now I want to be a supermodel so I'm not going to join this one because they're not high profile they don't have any famous models oh also okay I'll get into it after actually we're going to turn the offer down and since we do have something in our portfolio I'm going to go for modeling agencies key thing when you're going for modeling agencies it does not matter how many celebrity models they have okay that just means they pulled a random celebrity off the street and made them a model we are not a celebrity that is only important if you are starting the life as a celebrity because you want companies that want celebrities we're trying to be just a famous model someone that comes up from the bottom again another key thing if you want high profile gigs if you want new york fashion week if you want milan fashion week you go for the ones with major clients and high profile now this one isn't for us because it's 30 to 50 years old so you just kind of want to exit it and find one that appeals to you we found a really good one this is 18 to 25 years old perfect for us they have fame they have 12 famous models. So that like makes me a little more comfortable to apply. And they're extremely high profile. So I'm gonna submit. They might not even accept me, but I will try. Dang it. <laughs> also, let me just say that sometimes it is good and you're more likely to get accepted into the typical model gender male because there are so many males there. There's kind of a high demand for females. So actually like, Sometimes I do that as well and it becomes really successful and the opposite as well If you're a male and you go in the female industry It's because there's just such a high demand for male because it's all women. Oh, I clicked out of it by accident But it was a perfect example. This is a male industry and it was in my age range It was high profile and there were famous models and they accepted me So they tell me to channel Squidward tentacles set to 100 as you posed to as you post for an impromptu photo shoot. Okay, zero quirkiness and let's do high attitude. See, oh my gosh, it worked. You just have to try your best to assume the situation. Some you might not get, okay? Sometimes I think I do it perfectly. And sometimes if you're not familiar with a situation or a person they mentioned, just Google it. <laughs> Honestly, so already we are body part model and our salary is 138,000. So we're gonna accept it right away. One thing you really, really wanna do is impress your casting directors because building a relationship with these clients here is more likely to get you high paying gigs. But you also have to be careful selecting this because you can really annoy them and then they can end up not liking you. So doing it is beneficial, but doing it can also backfire. So we're gonna try. So your booking agent, Alicia Charles, has arranged for you to meet with some of your modeling agency's clients. What will you do. Pause of Mock Queen, Dick Spurton Goods, Circle Soft Creations, and Peacock Mark. So client relationship is meh. It's high profile though. So we really want to impress them. While chatting with one of the brand managers of Hawks of McQueen, one of them asks, what do you think about our products? Okay. So they're essential for everyone. They're fabulous. They're impressive. And all of my friends use them. We don't want to say all our friends use them because that means we don't like it, but our friends do. They're impressive. Mm. Now I would say the best answers are they're essential for everyone or they're fabulous. I'm going to say they're fabulous. During your go see at Dick Spurton Goods, the brand manager asks you to put on a go-go dancer costume and deliver a convincing speech about why their brand is the best. Sometimes they ask you to do something really demeaning and humiliating. So it actually is better to say it's beneath you because they're testing you. So with Circle Soft Creations, they want me to simulate masturbation. So this is a perfect example of saying it's beneath you. So Peacock Mark wants me to put a go-go dancer. Oh, it's the same one, happily agree. So there you go. Your booking agent, Alicia Charles, says several clients were excited to work with you. So as you can see here as well, they told me clients loved meeting me at my go -sees. So that's very important. And you kind of want to do that if you really want to make this good. You you kind of want to do that until you've seen pretty much every one of your clients. The key thing is getting a really good relationship with your booking agent so they get you good gigs. Just compliment them and if that doesn't get you a full bar, give them a gift. You literally want to spam gig entertainment. Look at that. My literal first audition with the company, 137,000. Billboard, take the audition. Very important. 
read the descriptions don't just try and figure it out for yourself the descriptions are telling you what it is this job pack is not like the others where you can kind of just click whatever this one actually takes some work that's why i actually really like it because it brings back the challenge to the game it's become so easy to make so much money nothing feels good when you accomplish it anymore in the game okay i'm lying it does it still feels really good to hit a zillionaire no matter how many times i do it okay i won't lie it never gets old but it's really nice to not necessarily have a career so focused on money, but the challenge to get there. It's like astronaut. Astronaut doesn't make you that much money, but it's a challenging career. And I like the fact that they're actually making it challenging. So I will say that that's why I'm enjoying this, especially as a long time player. I don't want everything to be easy. I don't want everything to make me hundreds of millions. Like, but regardless, the casting director is looking for someone who can give a whole lot of attitude and a little bit of quirkiness. So listen to them attitude a little bit of quirkiness and we're gonna keep poise in the middle beautiful oh my gosh they said i nailed the audition take the job i'm not at a place where i can ask for more money okay you gotta wait till you're famous to do that maybe you'll get lucky and get it sometimes maybe you'll get it all the time you want your reputation to be high before you ask for more money well on set of your shoot for circle soft creations the creative director asks you to lick a giant peppermint skit do it and you literally just want to do this so many times at least three gigs they're looking for a model who can give them nothing but elegance and grace elegance and grace is poise max that out put everything low because they said nothing but elegance and grace if they just said they're looking for a model that has a lot of elegance and grace you could do whatever with the other attributes but they said nothing but so that's what you have to pay attention to and we got it and the gigs will literally just keep coming there are so many that will pop up maybe you won't get them all you know even i don't but hey, you'll get like 10. So let's try this. Be as unique as possible. So we're going to give everything because someone that has it all is very unique in the industry. When that pop-up pops up, I like to do that. And keep track. Remember what you did when the pop-up comes up. Try to remember the ones you got wrong so you don't make the same mistake. And you kind of just learn as you go. You're not afraid to be quirky and weird. Increase quirkiness, decrease poise, and decrease attitude. Beautiful. So you really need to figure out which is the dominating trait and then see how the other traits would interact with it. We nailed the gig. Thank you. And literally everything they ask, I do. I just agree. The go sees, you kind of can't agree to everything because sometimes it's like the masturbation one and then it's a trick, so you gotta say not interested. Well, she says she can't find any gigs. Guys, don't end it there. Keep clicking. Now, if you literally try for like two minutes and nothing pops up, fine. Okay, so in this case, she actually ran out. But a lot of the times they'll tell you there's no gigs left and then you try again and one pops up. Okay, so considering there's nothing left, let's just age. So this is our first year officially. We're 19. It's only been one year. But that's how long it takes. It's tedious. I appreciate it because can you imagine how hard it is to actually be a model in real life all the go sees you have to do all the auditions all the rejections so it's very accurate in that aspect now obviously it's not the most accurate in other aspects but i'm trying to keep positive okay so here they said they're looking for a model who can be a rebel so you want to have high attitude okay low quirkiness and less poise there you go take the job so i'm just gonna keep showing you guys examples because i know a lot of people are just struggling with this part <laughs> this one's funny they're looking for a model who can channel a tiktok influencer who's modeling for the first time so they're gonna have zero poise they are not gonna know what the hell they are doing not a lot of attitude but more quirkiness okay that's how you do it y'all <laughs> take the job another one giving a whole lot of attitude right and a little bit of quirkiness there you go. And just memorize these as you do them. It gets a lot easier. Okay, they're looking for a model who can give as much attitude as possible, nothing else. Again, just attitude. And a lot of them, if they're not asking for quirkiness, don't do it. But see, this is all one year. I'm getting so many. They, this one's a bit unique. They're looking for a model who can be the best that you can be. Okay, so in my opinion, you do want a little bit of quirk. You want to you wanna be able to have that freedom, you know? A lot of poise and attitude in the middle usually that's a good combination okay we maxed out our gigs so so far we're actually doing a lot of the gigs because our agent actually runs out okay there we go we have our first promotion in our second year and we are a stock photo model so you guys the same thing over and over do all the ghosties and do as many gigs as you can oh my gosh in our second year we have new york fashion week are you kidding <laughs> 
Yes, please. Here's another thing I've gotten question about, the fashion shows. You notice a sneer on her face that seems to say you could never deliver your signature walk, okay? That's a great response for this. And of course, walk another show, okay? Again, deliver your signature walk, always. If that's an option, choose it. Okay, so we are channeling a Twitter influencer who's modeling for the first time. So the Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, it's all the same thing. Increase quirky, decrease pose, and attitude be in the middle. That will get you every time for any of the social media ones. Because sometimes it's TikTok, sometimes it's Instagram, sometimes it's Twitter. This one wants us to channel a sexy crypt keeper. A lot of attitude, bestie. Poise and decrease quirky. Oh wait, I didn't get that one. Oh shit. <laughs> also, I got this wrong. So you guys should comment down below the combination that worked for you if you got it right. Because I messed that one up. <laughs> Maybe I should have looked up what a crypt keeper is because I'm not quite sure what that is. I thought of a librarian, but I could be wrong. Okay, give off serious Nepo baby vibes. <laughs> not a lot of poise, a lot of attitude. <laughs> Period. Bratty teenager, not a lot of poise, a little bit of quirk and a lot of attitude. <laughs> oh, we maxed it out again. Again, another New York Fashion Week. The key is, is once you're supermodel, you start to get Milan if you do this right. <laughs> Sassy Raven. <laughs> Let's do a lot of poise, a lot of attitude, and no quirk. Strong sense of leadership. Let's see if I'll get it. Um, a lot of poise. I think everything. Yeah. Being a good leader, you need a little bit of everything. You shouldn't have zero quirk. You need people to like you. Bratty teenager. <laughs> attitude bratty teenager again i love when i get the easy ones a sassy cat a lot of poise a lot of attitude <laughs> another fashion week except just climb the stairs leading to the runway and notice that it's composed of three circular platforms that are slowly rotating you determine the trick is to maintain your balance while walking in the show if you're going to succeed you gotta strut guys don't let that stop you you gotta be confident so glenda bailey is sitting in the front row watching your every move while meticulously taking notes pretend she's not there gotta be natural this one's good it's channeling scar from the lion king no quirk less poise and a lot of attitude we got it so far we've gotten almost every one. Oh, this is channeling a sexy zombie i think this is the first one i've got let's see a sexy zombie they're gonna have attitude not a lot of poise and a little quirk i think let's go because they're like gonna kind of make freeing movements they're gonna like flail their arms so they're not gonna be poiseful but they're gonna be quirky but they're also sexy so they need attitude oh my gosh they're looking for a model who can give them humble high school cheerleader energy humble okay no attitude quirky and poise yes they're looking for a model who can show everyone you're assertive no quirk attitude and poise yes oh my gosh it's so satisfying getting them right oh i got injured please oh we just gotta keep doing it you are go sees happily agree besties repulse drag race effortless and sophisticated oh my gosh okay we have to assume the demeanor of a 1950s librarian poise and quirk no attitude Haha, <laughs> I'm basically giving you guys like an open tutorial of how to do each one of these. So if somebody wants to transcribe every scenario I've done and leave it in the comments of what percentages to use, if you're able to take the time to do that, that'd be great. I personally do not have the patience. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, we're looking for a model who can be the bearer of tragic news. High poise, a little bit of quirk, no attitude. Yes. <laughs> a model who can emulate the essence of a touch starved pothead. This is my first time getting it. Oh my gosh. Essence of a touch starved pothead. Work, no poise, and high attitude. Because <laughs> a pothead's gonna be like all over the place, but they have an attitude because they, they're touch starved. <laughs> a model who can excuse the essence of a depressed outlaw? What does that mean? This is my first time getting this. I'm getting a lot of first timers here. Excuse the essence of a depressed outlaw. So you're depressed attitude no poise and no quirk yeah looking for a model who can make everyone in the room laugh out loud no attitude and high quirk because poise keep it in the middle for that one we have been promoted to elite model at 25 we are only 25 we finally got famous at 25 guys that is the earliest i've done it so far holy sh and we got another fashion week jeez oh also this is a time if you do want to get 100 percent fame sign up for your socials because as you verify them you want to build followers and as you verify them you will be able to get a hundred fame and maintain it with 
photo shoots. It's gonna be very, we're more likely to get photo shoots because we're young. Right now it's our first year of fame, so we're not. Make your social medias as soon as you become famous so that you gain a lot of followers. And remember the life hack with social media. Make your social media, verify it, get the fame from it, then delete it and remake it, age, gain followers, and do the same thing. <laughs> That's a life hack for like endless amount of fame. Oh, also for the diaper pop-up for ghosties, always say accessorize it. I forgot to mention that as well. And we have officially been promoted to supermodel. Now, just saying, your salary can depend because one time with a life where I was a supermodel, I got 8 million. Paris Fashion Week, 150 freaking thousand, except the gig. Oh my gosh. As you're shutting down the runway, you notice Sally Singer is sitting in front row, watching your every move, meticulously taking notes. Pretend she's not there, guys. You feel your wig styled in the shape of a massive cone deflating with each step. Leave it alone, let it be. The designer hands each of the models a unique mask and instructs you to keep it on no matter what. Just before you reach the end of the runway, you feel a string snap as your fox mask begins to slip. Hold it in place. You gotta do what you gotta do, they told you. And a fourth freaking show, oh my gosh. A shoe is broken. Walk normally, pretend like nothing happened. Guys, 500,000 from Fashion Week. That is the biggest I've ever gotten. Oh my gosh. I've done Paris before, but I did not get paid that freaking much. TikTok is verified. Now let's go to fame and do a fashion show. I mean, a photo shoot. Fame is literally 100. That is how you become a supermodel. Just keep the pattern going. And I really hope me sharing with you guys some of the answers helps you out. Now, some I got wrong. And if there are other ones you didn't see in the video that you've done, comment them down below with the answers to help some other people out. Oh my gosh. We just got a Paris Fashion Week for 170. And guys, I'm just gonna end the video here. I hope you enjoyed. This is going to be a very, very long video because I've been filming for two hours. It's not a hard process, but it is tedious. And if you're willing to put in the work, it is actually very fun. Also, make sure you guys go check out my Patreon. We're having a lot of fun there. I'm going to be doing a Christmas day live stream there. And I'm gonna have a glass of wine with everyone. Like I know a lot of people don't celebrate, so or a lot of people celebrate and they're alone that day. So if you guys want to come spend Christmas with me, come join my Patreon. It's a very safe and fun community. And with that being said, I'll just see you guys in the next one.